Hey guys, today I will be showing you how you can add paid out text on scroll. So we're gonna have text here that's a bit transparent as you can see and same thing on the bottom. And then once we scroll down, it's gonna look like it's fading in here at the top and it's gonna look like it's fading out all the way here. So if we scroll down, it's gonna look like text is disappearing behind the background and text is appearing here with some transparency. And if we scroll back, it's gonna be the same, but as you can see at the bottom, so we're only going to use a bit of HTML and CSS for this. We're going to make a div here. Let's call it fade. And inside of that, we're going to have multiple paragraphs. So I'll just make one for now. And let's just do lorem. And we can hit tab. And we're just going to get some text here. And let's just copy this one more time here. So you can add as many of these paragraphs as you want. We're going to be adding around 10. So I'll just paste that nine more times. And that's going to be all the HTML we're going to have here. And we can go to our CSS. We're going to add a block sizing of border box, margin zero, and font family of sans serif here. Then at the bottom, uh, we're going to target our body. Let's make it full height. We're going to add a color of white, so we're not going to be able to see text now. And then here we want to add a background. So I got a background from Pexels, it's right here. That's going to be linked in the description if you guys want to use the same one. And then after that, we're just going to do a repeat center slash cover. Okay, let's minimize that. Now we can see the background and the text. And here we also want to add display flex. Since we want to center this div, that's fade. So we can target that right here. So fade. We're going to make it 100% in width. And we're going to add a max width of 640 pixels. And then margin auto, just to center it completely on the page, as you see here. Then we're going to add a background image. We're going to have a linear gradient. And we can move this to a new line because we're going to have a few things here. So we're going to have transparent at 12%. We're going to have current color at 30%. Then we're going to have current color again at 70%. And then at the end, we want to add transparent. That's going to be at 86%. You guys can mess, with, uh, mess around with these values to figure out what works best for you. So this is what it currently looks like. It's nothing like what we're trying to make here, like this. So the only thing we would need to add here, we're going to add a background clip property of text. And we're also going to add a WebKit dash background dash clip, which is also text. Now that's completely different. And we also want to add a background attachment of fixed. And then for this background right here, so if we scroll down, everything's going to be moving. So we want to do the same thing for the body. We're also going to add background attachment fixed. And then after that, we just want to target all of these paragraphs. So we're going to do dot fade P. Gonna add a margin of 20 pixel zero, so just top and bottom. We're gonna add font size of 20 pixels, and we're also gonna add a color of transparent. So now, if we save that, you can see the text being transparent here, but here we can clearly see it. And then once we scroll down, this top part is gonna animate, and it's gonna look like text is disappearing here. And it's also going to be the same thing for the bottom one. Once we scroll up, it's going to animate from here. So it's going to be transparent at the bottom. And then as we scroll a bit more, we're going to be able to see text properly. But also if we scroll up, it's going to look like the text is disappearing here as well. So that would be it for this small project. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.